Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between ejection fraction and stroke volume, and I'll take you through a couple examples to illustrate the difference. Um, so ejection fraction is referring to the percentage of blood that's ejected from each ventricle per beat. Um, so ejection fraction depends on how much blood the ventricle is filled with in the first place. And then the ejection fraction is simply what fraction of that total amount of blood is ejected when the ventricles contract and the valves open. Uh, compared to stroke volume, that's the actual quantity of blood that's ejected from each ventricle per beat. So the stroke volume has nothing to do with how much blood was in the ventricle in the first place. Um, so an ejection fraction is expressed in percentages, whereas stroke volume is measured in milliliters. So they're very closely related, and students often get these two concepts confused. So they are related. It is They're both referring to the amount of blood that's ejected per beat. But the ejection fraction is the percentage of the blood in the ventricle that's ejected, and the stroke volume is the actual volume, the actual measurement of the amount of blood that was ejected per beat. Um, so a healthy ejection fraction uh, is considered to be 50 to 75 percent, so meaning that uh, for each heartbeat that 50 to 75 percent of the blood in each ventricle is ejected, and the healthy stroke volume range is 50 to 100 milliliters, meaning that regardless of how much blood the ventricle filled with, healthy stroke volume means that 50 to 100 milliliters of blood are, is ejected per beat. Um, so here are a couple examples just to further illustrate the difference. Um, so the healthy example on the left here, um, the ventricle fills with 160 milliliters of blood. 100 milliliters is ejected, so that's the stroke volume, is the actual measured quantity of blood that's ejected, and that is in the healthy range, 50 to 100 milliliters. So then if we find the percentage, so 100 milliliters is the amount that was ejected. If we divide that by the total amount that was in the ventricle, 160, we get 62.5%. So that would be the ejection fraction. Um, so in that case, all measurements here are considered healthy. Here in the unhealthy example, the ventricle is filled with the same amount of blood as in the healthy example, so 160 milliliters. In this case, 50 milliliters are ejected, uh, so that's the stroke volume, which would still be considered a healthy stroke volume because 50 to 100 milliliters is considered healthy. Um, but in this case, if we divide that 50 by 160, here we have 31.25%, which is the ejection fraction, and that is considered unhealthy and could be an indication of heart failure. Um, so there are two different measurements that, that give you an idea of the health of the heart. Um, so the stroke volume can be healthy, but the ejection fraction could be unhealthy. So even if the total volume of blood that's being ejected is adequate, um, if that percentage is very low, then that tells you something about the health and function of the heart. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.